The other day, actually, um, I was thinking about kids. Yeah. They, how they make you, uh, they make you think about yourself kind of like you. Like reflecting on your own yeah. self and your children. Yeah. You see, cause you see yourself and your kids sometimes. Sure. So like I'll sometimes, yeah, I'll just sit there and I'll just like, fuck. Sometimes I look at Elliot. They don't make me think, you know, kind of help myself, you know, probably improve myself. Love yourself a little more. Then you'll see like your little, you know, maybe you get mad around your kid and all of a sudden you see your kid get mad at something. You're like, sure. God damn you guys! You'll Stop seeing everything. Boys sitting there with a ration. Fucking shit. Welcome back to Just Weirdly Blended. I'm Jesse and I'm Tom, and it's fucking a Friday night. We haven't done a podcast at night in forever. It's Thursday night. Thursday. Night. <laughs> it's like Friday. <laughs> it's th- I'm so th- excited. It's Thursday. But yeah, it might Damn, as well be Friday. I gotta work tomorrow. You have to go in tomorrow, or yeah, yeah okay. I have to go to Top Inch tomorrow. Sorry, sorry to break the news that it's it's only Thursday. But you know, Fridays over there, it's pretty chill most of the yeah. time. Yeah, you're um, the only one in the office. No, well, yeah, it's me, and then there's like a couple of my techs, and then there's a like couple help desk people. It's very okay. like sparse. Sure, that's nice. Um, and that's kind of how it's been, except for this week. There was like uh, we have uh, we're doing our reviews. Okay, so we had a lot of people come in, and you know. When I went in on there, like Wednesday, there was fucking, mm-hmm. it was packed. I was like, what the hell? I don't even need to be here, dude. Hmm. But it's because everyone's doing reviews. Yeah. So. You got your, your review done? I, I, didn't, I don't, I have my, I have a few of them done. Yeah. Yeah. I have four done. Four out of my nine. So I got. Do you have to do a review with your boss? Yeah. He has to review me. That's great. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's. I already know. I like uh, one of the reviews I get is uh, for like a, I'm on a committee and being on the committee, you get a stipend. So I have to do a review with my boss, which is pretty much just like she types something up and then brings me like, hey, can you sign this? Sure. Like you're basically just saying you did it, you know, like. What a, because, yeah, yeah he, he'll, you, you know, I'm going to send you your review to look it over. So you, yeah. you, you kind of think about what we're going to talk about. Right. Right. Like, okay, cool. And I'm, he goes, and if you have anything, you can change it. I right. Can, but it's like, I can say what I'm going to say, but it doesn't it's, mean it's going to change your view on it. That's a lot of how the teacher stuff is. <laughs> like my actual, yeah, like my actual review when it comes up, if when it matters. Like it's weird how teacher stuff works, so I won't get into too many details. But like every so often you have to do a lot more work for your review mm-hmm. over the course of the year. And then you have to turn in a bunch of data and stuff, and then you discuss it kind of like that. Yeah. And you agree where you think you fall on the scale. And then that position is where you're at for like a five year period. Oh. You still get annual reviews, but your actual score doesn't necessarily okay. change. Until but you can still five. get a comment from your boss like, he's a loser. He, he doesn't do, do a good shit. job, you know? Yeah, I know mine's so, going to be like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Because well, I, I, I feel like bosses do this, and, and I'm guilty as this, because I'm not around my people all the time, so sure. I don't know exactly what's going on all the time. Sure. I just see what comes in. And so for him, he sees what I can show him, because yeah. you know I'm not going to show him every ticket we have, every little thing. Right. But I think I might, because I feel like I get reviewed off of this much info when we... Instead of all of it. Sometimes. That's yeah, all. you don't feel like it's an actual, accurate picture no. of but, you. And I know it's going to be a... You know, you know, an average review. It's not, uh, you know, I already know that. Be but all right. So I don't, I don't well, care. a lot of times too, like you've come back and you've been like, you know, I thought it was going to be way worse. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, I you, know. Know, you know what, you know what? And there's things I know I need to work on. Sure. You know what? There's, there is things I'm, I'm, I slack on things that I shouldn't, or there's things I, you know, I can be very forgetful. Okay. Obviously you've seen it. Um, <laughs> He's like, yep, mm-hmm. yep, just happened earlier. It's this been guy. an interesting night, to tell you guys. Yeah, like all I, around, full circle. It's been a yeah, dude. My 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 son got sick. My stepson got sick when he came because it was our son JJ's birthday yeah. on Tuesday. Turned ten, the big one zero. He's uh, a decade old, right, dude? He's double digits. Yeah, but um, he's an old our other, man. Our other son was sick, and he's Alicia took him to the hospital right now. Yeah. Um, and then his car was busted down and 
so we got that towed and then like today it was like we're looking at some cars and then i was like okay i don't think we're gonna do podcasts. so you were looking at cars for him yeah like to replace it yeah, gotcha. yeah to help him out so we can like because he still has to go home he lives in portland you know yeah, he's still right. that's three hours He's away. stuck until yeah he well it long uh worst case scenario he has my car yeah and you know we already have that plan like he can take that gotcha um, but you know if he if he does he does whatever yeah but like today i'm like oh tom i can't do the podcast <laughs> fucking it was like yeah i can no i can't and then immediately <laughs> i can <laughs> oh Again. they're going to the they go to the hospital i'm like yeah. oh yeah it's on yeah that's <laughs> all fucked up oh, hey, he's uh she took it to the doctor so if you want to do the Dude, podcast we can you know how long hospitals take yeah it's ridiculous and it's, he'll be all right yeah it's he just, said it's probably a lot of anxiety from the issue with the car yeah you're young you know that happens it's mm -hmm. just it's a stressful event Everyone it is knows it. it's really rough for anybody that's been in a car accident type scenario or car breakdown it's very stressful it is very stressful. i had a wheel fly off my rv last summer that's so driving cool. home you want to talk about stressful beep, 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 beep. your wheel fell off and you're <laughs> like huh <laughs> no sh oh yeah. you didn't even know i didn't even know i didn't even feel it there's some guy was like beep, 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 beep. so i pulled over like what and then i got on like but there's I'm missing a wheel. So thank God there was four wheels on this thing. I mean so weird. You should have just kept man. going. Fuck it. Like, eh. You make it. It was designed for two wheels. <laughs> it's got four just for you know with the extra support, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine? But yeah, yeah. It's designed that way. <laughs> Stop honking. Shit. Uh yeah, it was it was ooh, it was touch and go. We stopped like everywhere. Cause the guy, the tire guy, you know, they can't like verify the guy was like we will get you on the road but like we are not yeah. guaranteeing anything but like forcing a tire back on and i was like that's fine just get us where we can maybe get home and uh so like I, literally every truck stop every like gas station we were stopping because we had to go from portland here like four hours that's such a long and uh yeah man like going the whole way and like trying not to go too fast because you know just in case mm -hmm. And uh, it did well, but it was very yeah, yeah, yeah. just nerve-wracking. Well, I don't know. That stuff happens in yeah. life, though. It does, man. It does. You just got to... We made it back like champs. Right. We were, everything was great. And I uh, still haven't fixed it, but I'm going to soon because <laughs> I want to use it. So Right. right? Hell yeah. yeah. I want right. to. I lost my motor in my truck. But no, it's I don't know. It's just one of those things that happens. You got to yeah. roll with it. And yeah, well, I feel for him. It is stressful. It, is. it sucks. Oh, yeah, dude. Because it's like you're just getting started. Like even right. for me, when things go wrong, it's just like, yeah, great. Here we go. Right. You just get ahead and then life, you know, life quick holds you back. That. It's yeah, like, man. Like, hey, hey, come here. Yeah. You good? How you doing, you good? little buddy? You good? Sucker punch I'm good, you man. Nuts. Yeah. It's Big Brother style. Pow. pow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Suplex to through the that bed. Game. That's what I did, yeah. my brother. Suplex. Boy. But Speaking yeah, of that, I was watching the Hulk Hogan's got a beer ad. Have you seen that? A what? A beer ad. American beer in mm -hmm. Walmart. Are we going to get some? <laughs> my brother was saying that we all should. He was, uh, that's funny. You'd be like, yeah, brother. Yeah, exactly. He's like, brother, you want a beer? You love America, brother? I got a beer for you. Walmart and Hulk Hogan have teamed up, brother, and we got a beer for you. America beer. <laughs> And everyone's like, woo! <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's, is that how the commercial is? Yeah, pretty much. He's like, bring America back together. Does he do like one beer at a time, brother? Is he dressed in a Hulk Hogan outfit? Kinda. I mean, not not really. It's his normal like tear off tee oh. with like probably a bandana or something. No, I didn't know if he had, he had like sunglasses. his little shorts. It's old. Oh school. no, 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 not old school. Dude, no. I used to love Hulk Hogan as a kid. Yeah, he's pretty cool, man. He. I remember growing up, we had a, a movie of his. Uh, not the nanny, Mr. Nanny, I think it was called. Oh, you ever see Mr. Nanny? Movie. Is that one where he's like, I loved it. He's on a motorcycle and stuff. Uh, he was, uh, he had to be a nanny yeah. for a family, and the kids were going through a rough time because I think their mom died, and their dad was super into business. He built a computer chip, <laughs> and the bad guys <laughs> were going to steal the computer chip, and the bad guy had a metal plate in his head. Yeah, and uh, it would start to ring, and his eyes would cross, and he would go ballistic over it, like, Gah! 
<laughs> his eyes would cross, so and he'd slam his head through a wall just to get it to stop. So Pretty over the funny. top, huh? Uh, love that fucking movie. The when's, chip. Oh, it was a satellite chip. When's the last time like you watched a satellite? That? <laughs> it seems like very recently, <laughs> but uh, no, I think it was probably like I don't know. I was probably that's probably like the kid's age. Like nine. Oh, we had it on VHS. I when you said kind of, it seems like recently. I I feel like. You know, it's been a couple years. No, it seems like I remember so you know many what? details. You know what? It. We should do our. Yeah, I don't know. We should do this. Like people should do this, and there's probably people to do, but like those old nostalgic movies. Retro movie. You night. know what? I'm gonna go check that movie out. Right. I did that with uh, Flight of the Navigator. Oh yeah, I loved that movie as a kid. Yeah, that was probably one of that was one of my. <laughs> was movies. that a cartoon? Mm-mm. It was like no, live action. Right. It was real, but then he he falls and he like gets knocked out and he wakes up and he's. Goes home and it's not his house, and he runs Damn. into this little alien guy that has a spaceship, and they're like flying around. Nice. Shit. It's it's pretty sick ass movie. It's I think it's like a Steven a, Spielberg flick. Oh, could be, but yeah, I didn't I know that right. until I tried to rewatch it. Like yeah. I don't know, just I don't know. It's probably been like at least eight, ten years. I How bought about the, I bought the deep VHS. Dude, I <laughs> buy. Uh, I just bought Grumpy Old Man and Grumpy or Old Man. So good. Old dude sitting in a fucking little boat, bro. I'm like, that's you and me, <laughs> that's brother. That's gonna be us. That's you and me in thirty years. <laughs> our, sitting the out same there. boat. God damn it! In our little John boat, our little plastic. The one boat. we still have. Yeah. We've had this boat. Oh, I did find out how to get it. Seven to five years. We, 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 we tried to take it out. We took it out one time with no but motor the though. Fucking battery didn't work. Talk about funny when you get out in the river and then there's like no motor for it. But uh, it's going to be a good time, man. Uh, in 11 days, we can buy a new sticker for the boat. Hell yeah, we're going fishing. Yeah, because I was going to buy one and they're like, if you wait 11 days, it catch won't a gator? expire again. Apparently it expires every like, maybe the end of June every year. Oh. So like, if you buy one now, that's fine, but you only have it for 11 days. And like, well, obviously I don't want to do that. Oh, so it's like... So I have to wait that's kind of smart to like make so your registrations this you know like yeah well right. I guess that's how all registration but is. it's weird because like I'll get in the mail our like trailer registration because you have like the trailer on the road mm. right but the boat's not technically on the road but you got to have the waterway so they don't send you one for that so then I looked online and I figured it out and then I had to find the bill of sale that has the or like the title that has the fucking number on it you boat people out there know oh they have boat. to have a coast guard number. And so you got to use that and plug it in, and then they'll charge you for that. So I'm like, man. Let me know. We'll split it. I tell you, brother. No. Our, our trailer's good to go. We should be getting those tabs in soon. You know what's crazy, but guys, is we actually tried to do a podcast last week for you guys. Yeah. Um, on Father's Day. This is a it was the day after Father's Day, right? Is it? Was it the day after? Uh, or was it Father's Day? No, it was the day before. Oh, the day before. Because we Saturday, weren't going to be able to do it on the day. That's right. That's I had right. a family engagement with my parents. Dude, it was the best but, podcast uh, never it was released. Good. We 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 really went deep. We opened up. We shared some secrets. We cried. Um, we laughed. Yeah, I we farted. shared. It was crazy. Um, but and it, uh, yeah, but it was all gone. We started <laughs> to play it, and uh, there was, was no audio. <laughs> I feel like this kind of shit's happening way too frequently. It d- you know, and I you know it's even crazy. I'm. I'm. I tell you, people, I'm not a terrible tech person. I, I no, he's a pretty good tech guy. I can be good, but sometimes I'm. I don't know. It's just those things. It's just you forget to check this stuff. Like you it's know? little things. Because in our in our ears, it sounds like it's recording. Mm-hmm. You know, like I hear myself talking right now, and I did last week. But then you you start to play it, and it's like, oh, it's not working. It didn't pick anything up. And it was technically showing that it was working, but yeah. then it wasn't. Very oh, that's what we. That's another thing I talked. About. I was just looking at <laughs> notes. Like, what did we talk about last yeah. week? I was, but. It don't matter because we're talking new about this week. Yeah, you guys don't want to talk about last week. Who wants to pretend like it's Father's Day again? I know. It was a good Father's Day, though. It was nice. We golfed. We did. That was cool. A little bit, which is surprising because usually Father's Day you can't get We went course. late. We went like 630. We made it through, what, 12 holes? Uh, yeah, 12. It was, Ooh. was it the 10th or was it like 11, like 10 and a half to 12? That was really dark. Yeah. Well, I mean, not really dark, a, but it was 11 and a half through the 12th. It was kind of like, this is dumb. 
<laughs> like we could barely see the golf ball, but I think I got a hole in one, but it was Hudo. I think you did too. Go. I did too. But by the time we got up there, Bird must have taken it or something. Yeah, it was a but, hole in uh, one, but on an opposite. It was hole, really, so. really nice. Uh, it, was, it was a fun time. I finally hit the longest fairway for once in my life. Yeah, had to do a reshot for my second. Took a little mulligan on shot number two, but that was okay because I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a practicing golfer. Yeah, I know. We're going to be PGA people one day. Yeah. I'm going to get a handicap. Right now, I, I don't know if they give uh, 40 <laughs> handicaps, but someday. <laughs> I know. Someday. Dude, mine, mine would be like yeah. terrible. Right? No, it's not even worth How it. How do you even get a handicap? Uh, I feel like I golf. You have to like keep your score. It has to be signed by somebody. And then like you turn it into that golf course. And like every club has like a handicap or something i don't really know i think that app i use you can attest a score so i wonder if that's like probably yes, no i was there yeah i saw him that's, that's, eagle every single hole <laughs> hole in one every He's day incredible you because lie I, to get me onto a fucking pga tour thing and then i go to like try out for it they're like no here's your seven hundred thousand dollar check the, the lpga is coming to wild horse casino uh, just south of us, Pendleton, Oregon. Oh. They're coming to do a little lady golf show. So if you like a golf course out there, short skirts and hot chicks <laughs> hitting balls. Come on out to the Wild Horse Casino, brother. We got women at American Beer. Yeah, it's gonna brother. be in the rodeo. It's gonna be at the Pendleton Rodeo. No, it's not actually. Uh, uh, although there was a very sweet old woman at the hospice care center years ago. Mm. It was very nice. I was working. Recipe. I was like volunteering there and she was very sweet. Uh, she talked to me. She was like, I, I could get you tickets. There. I was like, that's very nice of you. Thank you. That'd be cool. I wonder yeah. if that's um, one of my buddies. He golfs, but he there's like he has his dream like course that he'd love to go to. But you need like a you need to have a specific handicap just to even play even on. go. Yeah. How pr that's like fucking stupid. So if you're a member Excuse at um, the, the where the Masters is played. Uh, what's that golf course called? Um, Son of a bitch. Peach course. Uh, yeah. Jolly. Pebble uh, Beach. Uh, no, that's California. That's the only one I know. What the fun, man? Sundown. I, I don't Sport know. Marine. I do know the course I, and the name of it well. It's where the Masters are played. Uh you, like even if it's a member, I've heard you can't like just play there. You can't just go there. Like you have scheduled times a year that you can go. Because oh. like Bill Gates, Condoleezza Rice, people like that, they're members. <laughs> so like Bill Gates, uh, you get next Tuesday, and that's it, brother. You know, <laughs> you're that's crazy. Bill though. Gates, and I'm like, I'll just buy the cars. And like it's not for sale. It's probably pristine though. It is pretty nice. But I don't know. You have Whatever. to wear full suits as you play. I wonder um, if you uh, if you have to go in your green jacket. Yeah, you gotta play in it. Have you ever just wanted to buy a green jacket just no. to be like I'm Masters a winner? What I'm if a... you had like a 1970s cut blazer? Would you still wear that I'd shit? I'd rock that shit. Like yeah. 1973 Masters champion, and it's like you know the the big old lapel, and like it's made out of like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I 100 percent polyester. <laughs> I would <laughs> you know? rock it hard. That'd be pretty neat. Hell yeah! Yeah, I used to have an old brown blazer that was for some sort of costume that was pretty funny to wear. Dude, I I don't think I've wore a blazer though <clears throat> um, since probably high school, man. Well, no, since my wedding, since high school. I like blazers. I wish there was more of a reason to wear them. Just wear them. Where we live, eh. I'm going to put jeans and a blazer on. I feel a little, I feel a little uh, dish where we come from. People don't tend to lack No, just the blazer, though. Arms. No shirt underneath it. No pants. Just the <laughs> just, blazer. Just, just walk blazer. around like a like fucking <laughs> lunatic. Like, just shout at people like, you're fired. <laughs> no, you'd yeah. have to be in a blazer, no shirt, and just like bike, sh like short shorts. Oh, you like the saying? spandex shorts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Like, like maybe 1970s hey. basketball shorts. Like PE coach shorts. Yeah. I had <laughs> Come on! My cross yeah, country coach, Mr. Parker, yeah. who's, who's the, he was the man. He's the cool. He was like one of the coolest teachers. Yeah. Um, but he uh, he wore these short shorts. They were like super. Like they would go mid thigh, <laughs> and they were they were bike. They said bike on them, but they were just tight. And he they had said cute, what they were, just in case you forgot. They're like, bike. It says bike. It's like the brand, I guess. Oh. But he had this, you know, pretty big, uh, probably a beer gut. Guy knew. I think drink. about it. He's a fun um, guy. 
But dude, that guy was the best badminton player. Yeah, I've seen in my life. Isn't that wild? Olympics. He can move. He would be two on one. That's crazy. He would he would smoke us. Wow. There was only one kid that was. And uh, you guys were high school kids. Yeah, yeah. Some of us weren't like tennis team kids. That one tennis one guy on the tennis team uh, could beat him, but it was Man. like a good match. Yeah. But like he would be like, but he when he would hit it, he'd. Gah! <laughs> Gah! <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's loud. He was fucking funny, dude. Yeah. He was a badass, though. I'll bet you you can't not scream when you're hitting a good shot, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's how they are in, like, uh, the tennis, girls' tennis. <gasps> yeah. Even <Yeah, laughs> guys. Sometimes it's fun to just turn off the, the picture and listen a little bit. I've watched this 37 times. <laughs> it's been on loop. I don't know why. Why am I turned on? No. <laughs> turn on women's golf and listen to <laughs> so the terrible. girls' tennis. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, man. Um, let's see. I saw my old third grade teacher today. That was pretty cool. Dude, that'd be kind of cool. I was in a training and... Uh, was she teaching it? <laughs> yeah, no. She was just there learning. Oh, she still teaches? It in, apparently. That's wild. How cool is that? There was this um, very pretty older lady there mm-hmm. and she was, uh, you know... Doing the same training I was. We were sitting in a room. And at the end of it, I did not recognize her at all. Uh, at the end of it, she came up and put her hand on and said, I just need to introduce myself. I'm like, okay. And shook her hand. And she goes, uh, I'm your third grade teacher, Mrs. Joseph. And all of a sudden, it was like, boom. You know when it hits you and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can see her. You're like, but oh, the last shit. time I saw her was like 1992. So you're looking Something. down at her this time? And yeah, I mean, like, I remember she was like, you know, young. She left halfway through that year to have her baby. So she was like Selfish. new mom age. No, yeah, kidding. thanks for uh, <laughs> ruining my childhood. That's about the time I sucked at school. No, um, <laughs> but she had like shortcut brown, like 90s hair, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. So it's just like so odd to see somebody that is like in your mind ingrained a different way. Like, you know, obviously I'm a lot older. I'm not a third grader anymore. So, but Tom. it was like, it was so cool to see her. I was like, man. So would that be weird if you hooked up with your third grade teacher? Yeah, like that, now, that would you be, know, that wouldn't that would be kind of weird? weird? Like, you're a very attractive older woman. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're <laughs> 74. So, you want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's ditch this training party. <laughs> I can show you some of those math moves you taught me. <laughs> no, it's uh, that would not happen. <laughs> Actually, Blanca had a dream that I cheated on her. That's always the worst dream. Yeah, she wasn't even super mad at me, but I was like, this is a dumb dream, man. I got. At least he was later on one day. It was like, oh, I'm mad at you. You were flirting with some girl. I'm like, what? And it was from a dream. So there was a girl that I used to work with. And Blanca has forever been on this like, oh, a girl you you're, used you're... to know. Yeah, girl I used to know. <laughs> no, she uh, she worked uh, with me before Danielle, my cousin, came to work with me. Mm-hmm. And so like we shared a door. So we worked close together for two years. And but Blanca's joke was always like, "Oh, you're like your work wife." I was just, <laughs> kidding. but then you know it's like work wife, but really she's like, Meh. "Who's this?" And bitch? then she's like, she keeps making jokes. So then at the training the other day, she was like, "Was your girlfriend there?" Oh. And I knew exactly who she was talking about. So I was like, "Nope, didn't see her." But I'm just like, Good and thing. then immediately after that joke, she's like. Yeah, you know, I had a dream you cheated on me, and like that sounds like a you problem. Because <laughs> that's where that that was that lead way into yeah. was she there? And then if she was, see, right. yes, I think she would have been more mad. But I, I like truly did not see her there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. wouldn't it have even mattered if I did? But she's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, but yeah. would I be upset? My work jealous? wife is my yeah. wife, I guess. Yeah, true. When you work because <laughs> I'm home. at home all day. Yeah. Then my work wife at works. I don't have one. Yeah, uh, my cousin was my work wife. <laughs> while it was a little weird <laughs> but no it's uh it's cool when well, your no. cousin works with you it was really funny when she first came to work with me because we'd eat lunch together every day <laughs> and uh our counselor's son didn't know that she was my cousin mm-hmm. so he got really weirded out and upset apparently he really looked up to me and thought i was like a man among men type thing mm-hmm. but then he thought i was cheating on my wife with oh, he was Mrs. like, this Rogers. Piece of shit. He was upset. He went to his mom and he just looked sick. And she's like, What's going on? And he's like, Mom, 
I think Mr. Parham's having an affair. And she's like, oh, she didn't even tell him right away. She let him stew on it for a little while. She's like, oh, she knew though. The she mom knew. Did. She knew. She yeah. knew it was an open thing. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were related. And, uh, but she let him kind of wallow in it for a while. And she goes, they're cousins. And he's like, oh, thank God. Love that guy. <laughs> man, I'm like, anybody who looks up to me enough to give a shit what I'm doing. He's all thinking just like, like man, Mr. Cool. Parham is the no. biggest piece of shit I've ever. He was, man. He I was, was like, I wouldn't have felt if Mr. Parham didn't cheat on his wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was just like, man, he's not cheating. What a loser, bro. <laughs> No, it was that's cool. Uh, though. Yeah, man. I mean that's good. That's it a good reaction cool. you want, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it felt like really that's... good to be like to show a young man how to come up in this well, world. Well, I mean that just shows he cares about yeah. you, and just he just kind of cares. And like, values, dude, come man. on, like, man. Those, like, man, like I looked up to you, and you're out what, there what grade running was this? the streets, man. You little you no, he's an, he's an adult. He was just working there. Like his mom works there on our staff. So she's our counselor. So he just got like a job for, I think it was like a short term para oh, gig around okay, there. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we worked together. And uh, so like we got to know each other. And he, he's seen the pictures of my beautiful wife. So he's thinking like, man, you got some honey on the side when you got some brown sugar at home, brother. Dude. I was like, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was like one of the little kids. No. Mr. Parr. <laughs> You're fucking another broad. I know. No, it no, was I thought, nothing like that. I thought it was like one of your, your students that was just kind of no. like looked up to you and was just like, yeah. this you piece of crap. My eyes. I'll never listen to your <laughs> lessons again. Throwing pencils at you and shit. Get out of here. Hey, what's up? What's up, Cheeky? Hey, honey. Are we taking beamies? <laughs> These are ninja shoes, girl. I'm a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. He's going to katana you. I got you. ninja turtles. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I feel like a samurai. It's pretty Get much out of here. Thing. I feel like a samurai, girl. <laughs> Man. <daughter. laughs> anyway. Right. No, it wasn't a student. I would never show a student anything like that. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't even know. My wife did come to work one day. Yeah. She brought me something. And he would have thought their <laughs> heads exploded. Oh. It was the funniest thing to watch their little minds like, you have a life? Was she, well, would you, was was she mugging him? This is Mrs. Parham. And they're like... What little boy's head just literally pop <laughs> in the back. You're not a complete idiot. They look like, I mean, like a celebrity walked in. It was like, like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boo, 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 boo. It was, boo, let's go. <laughs> the boys were fucking, <laughs> like, oh, what's shit. that stupid dance the kids do these days? I don't know. It's called the cabbage. Uh, not the cabbage patch, but it's like the, I don't know. Oh, the, the, the gritty. Flat. They were doing the gritty. The giddy. The giddy. Is that yeah, what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. The giddy, gritty, whatever. Or is it the gritty? I Cheeky know, would know man. if she was here. Cheeky! Sun. Giddy. It's called Sun Gaze Lemon Ginger Cannabis Seltzer. It's pretty good. And this is called Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. Happy Lemon Dad. lime, gluten-free. What else? 100 calories, 12 fluid ounces. This stuff, I'm not going to lie to you, though. It got a little bite to it. I enjoy that they put zero milligrams of iron. Zero milligrams. <laughs> Like, <laughs> okay, of calcium, there is zero percent of anything good in this. That's pretty funny. They put that on there. This has zero grams of protein. What I got 180 milligrams of protein. No, this has got nothing. Is that not a lot of protein? Daily value Milli? total fat, zero, saturated fat, zero, trans fat, no information, cholesterol, zero, sodium, one percent, total carbohydrates, one percent. Hmm. No fiber. One gram of sugar. Uh, one gram added sugars. It's two percent of my added sugar intake. That's nibbling. Bueno. He's sitting there reading. But this doesn't taste. Fact. This doesn't taste like beer. Like it would have that much in it. It's a very light. It feels like something you would drink while. Does it feel like a seltzer water? Yeah, that's that's what it is. I think. Oh. But it's what you would drink when you were mowing the lawn. You know. Oh, yes. Like in the Dude, suburbs. speaking of mowing the lawn, people, I was using, I have a zero-turn mower that I bought, mm. right? I bought it used. Yeah. Day one, I try to use it. It kind of veered to the left. A Very annoying. It, like right. my anger went from zero to 100 in like 20 seconds. Not even 20 seconds. That's, mm. That takes a long That's time. That's a, <laughs> a slow simmer. I'm so mad. No, I was mad really fast. And um, then fucking... Um, 
anyway, I would mess with it and yeah. it, I adjusted it and I got it to like go straight for a bit. But then after a while, it'll start turning to the left again. And it's, it's stupid. So I think something's wrong. But anyway, again, I, you know, I get it to fix. I'm mowing my yard on Father's Day and I get to this spot, this part of the hill and I start going up and all of a sudden it just goes back. Oh, actually, it goes back. I pull the fucking weedy the the weed eater the mower like <laughs> I, I adjust it so it's front yeah and then i adjust it a, a little more so i can kind of just coast down the hill uh -huh. i start coasting down the hill it takes a hard left Man. and i'm in my neighbor's backyard because we don't have a fence between yeah. us and i'm like and we're talking a steep hill yeah like it's pretty steep, steep i don't know what the grade hill. is which is it's pretty great it's percentage it's pretty great it's a 45 degree slope <laughs> yeah I mean, no, it's, no it's actually, pretty freaking like steep. once you get start going down the hill, that's probably it's accurate. It's pretty steep, man. Um, but you anyway, got a valley in your backyard. Yeah, like you really do. And so then a canyon. It goes in the neighbor's yard, and I'm like, fuck. And so I adjust it again, and then I'm like, okay, turn it off. Kind of mess with the things. I didn't mess with like I didn't try to adjust anything. Yeah. I just thought <clears throat> maybe I hit something weird. I don't know. I got on it again, and then it goes to the left, and it goes fast for yeah. whatever reason. And I had it kind of on slow. I didn't have it on turtle mode, but I didn't have it on, like... Yeah, you know, right. You were in jackrabbit. Yeah, jackrabbit mode. Yeah. And it takes off, and then there's this drop that's probably a good 15 feet, 20 feet yeah. down, down this dirt embankment. And I fucking jumps Man, off, and it stops. Yourself. And the little wheel's just hanging and spinning around, just nothing. And I'm like, uh, you know what was... I did not once in that whole time did I get upset. Nice. I was proud of myself. You were just happy you lived. I was just like, you know what? I kind of laughed and then I like, what am I? You know what? I already know it's like this. Yeah. I just kind of let it go. And I was just like, I, I, you know what? I don't even want it's Father's Day. I don't want to get mad. I was already kind of like in a mood you're, Father's Day. Yeah, you're goose You know, you yeah. like I woke up in a mood. And so I was just like a little weird. You had yourself a cliffhanger episode. That's what you <laughs> yeah, had. Yeah. Man. Then I was like, you know what? It froze as Jesse hopped off that thing. And, and I was just hanging. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, will Jesse survive? And then I Tune in next week to I see. I unstrapped my seatbelt and it went down just a little more. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's like a... Uh, What's which one? Uh, and then it goes down the hill and it Jurassic explodes. Jurassic Park three, but a or little bit of the me. The third one, or was it the second one when they're in that big RV? Remember? Oh. And it's hanging half half its asses off the cliff. I don't remember. Man, that was. I don't remember the number two or three to be oh, honest. That was cool, man. Um, that was I like the Dra Jurassic Park movies, but number that one's one was, like the best. Well, of course. I, I like some of the Chris Pratt ones too. Yeah, I know people shit on him a lot, but I. People shit on Chris Pratt. Some people oh, do. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Because his church believes in non gays or something. Look, man. I, I like his movies. I don't give but a fuck. But he's, you know, he's a good actor. Leave the guy alone. He seems like a he's cool dude, cool. actually. He, he plays in probably one of the best Marvel movies there is. Oh, dude, that's my favorite. Guardians the music alone. Because I'm not, I'm not like, Blanca gets annoyed because I'm not a huge fan. Like, I'm more of a realistic fiction, I guess. And I'm more of a, but, no, uh, I like realistic, but, but I, like I do all enjoy movies. them to a point. And uh, those are, like, my favorite because the music's so good. Oh, it's great. And it's so funny. The scene where he's, like, dancing around, kicking him. And then I think it's, like, in the remake. <laughs> Not remake, but like the, is it part two or something <laughs> where they show the scene of him dancing, but it's not from his perspective. So you don't hear the music. <laughs> it's like, mm, 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 like kicking him and there's no music. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Those movies great. are great. Yeah. I, uh, oh, oh man, what a day. It was crazy. It was just, that was a crazy day. Yeah. My cousin's tire went flat. I had to oh, run and today, pick up huh? their groceries. That was tonight. Came here, your house is flooding, man. Yeah, my downstairs, yeah. it starts. Like mm -hmm. I see water in the sink, and I'm like, oh, that's not right, because I yeah. have, I have my now, I have my water. Well, I know there's a right. sink that's full, but there's no faucet. I'm like, how did your water get in there? Well, and then you're like, you, well, we drain it, and then like, okay. And but then I but didn't then have the realize, hose. I was like, wait, no, I put the yeah, hose over here. You're like, that's not good. And then I have a drain like in the middle of my floor, and, yeah, and like, I it's a little on, squishy. Yeah, I stepped on a rug, and it was squishing, man. I was just like, fuck. Yeah. This is both. <clears throat> Squish and rug, money. man. That that brings me to another topic. Have you noticed that <laughs> one of the little things you might see on a, you know, P-O-R-N now uh, is like podcasts? Podcasts? Like people just talking on a podcast? On, Have you noticed that? On porn? It's Maybe. a porn podcast? <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, I'm just I saying. Know. I haven't noticed. Thumbnails. It's not. It's thumbnails, not. It's friend. not in my search history. Thumbnails. Thumbnails. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I question. That's cool. Just a question. I don't know. They're probably sitting around. Is anybody there. noticing any of these things? I bet. I believe it though. I don't know. There's podcasts everywhere. We're doing one, yeah, right? But we, you know, we we've been doing it. For but a while. we're wholesome Christian men. Yeah, we got Christian with good values. family values. Damn it. Yeah. Hey, I got some family values. We all got family values. I value my children. I value my spouse. I value. Oh, that's sour. <laughs> that was rough. I value. I value everything. I value Holy. American beer, brother. I value American beer. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> no, the other day actually, um, I was thinking about kids. Yeah. They, how they make you? Uh, they make you think about yourself, kind of. Like, you, like reflecting on your own yeah. self and your children. Yeah, you see, because you see yourself in your kids sometimes. Sure. So like, I'll sometimes, yeah, I'll just sit there and I'll just like, fuck. Sometimes I look at Elliot. They don't make me think, you know, kind of help myself, you know, probably improve myself. Love yourself a little more. Because then you'll see, like, your little, you know, maybe you get mad around your kid and all of a sudden you see your kid get mad at something. You're sure. like, sure. God damn you guys! You'll, Stop little seeing little everything. Boys sitting there with a ranch and fucking shit throws it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, well, I, I'll hear it when the JJ's playing the game or something. Oh yeah. So it's like it makes you really think about like how you act. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, and then you know, yeah, I think that's what Father's Day kind of did. And I woke up just kind of yeah, peeled at myself. Sometimes it happens. I just booty little booty little. Sometimes. Bitch. Sometimes you just wake up. They call it the wrong side of the bed, and that's for a reason, man. And I was on my side of the bed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. But you put that foot out, man. <laughs> you're supposed to go out your wife's side, man. You just went out your own side, man. That was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, it, I, I have that, too. Sometimes you just wake up kind of pissy. Mm-hmm. And it is a choice like, I know. to a point. But there's a point where you're like, mm, I tried I'm to, trying. I've tried to do the, like... I'm, I'm happy. Right. I'm good. I'm trying. my brain. <laughs> what is that? I'm fucking one Nate shoot. Bargazzi has the joke about how stupid we are that when we can trick ourselves. Yeah. Like, act like you're happy and the other half of your brain doesn't know that you're fucking lying to it. <laughs> I love that joke because it's so true. Like, no. I tried it once. I just get mad that I'm lying to myself, you know? Yeah. I've tried it once. It was funny. Yeah. It, made, it did kind of make me laugh because I thought about that. That's good. And some, something else. I'm like, that's so stupid. That's good. I make myself laugh when I get nervous or something and my body doesn't quite work right today. I accidentally smack myself in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> no nope. training. I was started working hard. Man. Well, no, I was kind of nervous. My dogs. Yeah. Speaking because you were helping uh, your cousin with moving yeah. and doing stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Or the tire. You had the tire. Today, the, the tire. Yeah. yeah, the tire went flat. And then late, then he comes here, like he said, the fucking, our sinks over, or not that sink. Yeah, but man, just, everywhere it's, everything's I go, backed up. It's, maybe it's me, man. Maybe I'm just well, a no, bringer before, of bad Before luck. he showed up, I had let my dogs out. Yeah. And then three of my little dogs take off into the neighbor's yard and mm. one of them shits in there. Mm. Right. And you know, I'm like trying to get them. I'm like, Hey. <laughs> Come here. I look like a psycho. I, I want to know. You're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. How sure. the the music. You He doesn't hear the music. He just sees this guy dancing. Yeah, like, oh. right. I want to know. Emotions are very similar. How someone in my neighborhood sees me when yeah. they see me just like. Because in our heads, we're like, <laughs> I'm I'm enraged. And it makes sense. They're like, yeah, I'm I wanna reacting s- out of that feeling. Yeah. But they don't feel the feeling. They just see the animated <laughs> movement. How funny is that? Though? Yeah, right. Like, yeah, he's. <laughs> it's like Jesse's pissed again. My but, infamous story of breaking the fucking hose bed because yeah. I got mad and whipped it and it shot water everywhere. I mean, it's funny, man. It is. People so, have to laugh. And so I was like, crap, my dog shit over there. And then I was like, damn it. I was going to ignore it. Yeah. But then I was like, that's not neighborly. Let me pretend like I didn't see As it. much as I, my neighbor gets on my nerves, like I, I still don't feel right. You I read the Bible, I, love thy neighbor. And, and I felt, I felt wrong. Did the right so thing. I was like, well, let me go out there. I told Tom, I was like, I was telling him, I'm nervous. He's like, I'll go with you. I'm like, no, I'm good, man. Man, I'll stare. Get off me. I don't I'll need you. I'll stare motherfucking down while you pick up <laughs> some care. dog shit, it's, brother. It's weird because it's not, yeah. I don't, I can care less if he's there, but it's just, sure. I don't, it's, I'm more embarrassed. Like, yeah. fucking dog piece of Sorry shit. Sorry that my dumbass dog pooped on your front. But I, so I go yard. over there and then I look <clears> and I'm like, oh. And his yard's very small, <clears> you know. Tom's seen it. Yeah. It's, it's not very big. Itty bitty. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know, 17 by 20, maybe less. Sure. It's, Visualize that one, yeah, folks. Yeah. It's like a rectangle. It's a little rectangle. It is. And it's all rock. 
<laughs> no grass. Yeah, yeah. There's not much grass. Not so I'm at looking all. around for this shit, and I'm like, maybe they didn't shit. Maybe I scared her. So <laughs> you're it sucked back in. revolving on one spot, really mashing in whatever you're standing on. No, and I was like, man, <laughs> shit. And then I like, I was like, whatever. And I start going back, and then I like, I start smelling shit. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look, and I look on my shoe, and I stepped in the shit. Funny thing is, when you came in. And back downstairs, I, you go, do you smell shit? Is that well, is it after that, that it was. you noticed it? Yeah. So it just made oh, me think, okay. like, yeah. I should have just went right after that to do it instead of waiting. Yeah. That's kind of like, a, a like, hey, that's what you get. Right. I know you did. You were trying to do the right thing, but this is your punishment. Right. Your nice shoes got shit on them, so I got to, like, get those. Because I yeah. like those. Those are my, Jesus like, good looked shoes. looked down and was like, man, you those are my have gone. Air shouldn't have gone. Shouldn't have gone there, bro. You knew that you shouldn't have gone in that yard, man. I should have just left it, huh? Should have just left it, man. That's, Dude, that's what I, should, I was fertilizing that's his yard. Jesus telling you, man. He that's needs it grass. Is. It's he not. Does. It's un-American to put rock in your yard, man. <sighs> it know. might be good for the environment. Might be good for water. I don't know, dude. You don't have dogs that dig into China. Yeah. My my dog Rex. He mm-hmm. jug as big as my freaking pug my like i can bury the pug in this hole that rex dug in my backyard man i tell you they are diggers i know yeah i Fuck saw a, uh, there was a dog today at the training this gal this other teacher she brought a dog that she's training for oh. i think like for a veteran like a dog oh i thought it was like an air bud situation oh man like he was gonna she teach could class play basketball or no i thought he was gonna teach a class or something <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understand now. Yeah, I understand, Mr. Ruff. <laughs> Put glasses on. Air teacher. Like, oh, he taught me how to play basketball. <laughs> um, Can't believe they franchised that. Jeez, Louise. But well, anyway, yeah, he's a man. He was a cute, like one-year-old German Shepherd. Oh, man. German Shepherds are such good. And dogs. you know, at first you like ignore the dog because you're like thinking like it's a work dog. You know, people are always like it's working. He's not a dog. He's at his job. That's so Don't sick. touch him. Don't look at him. <laughs> yeah. Like he, when they wear those vests. He's a fucking dog, man. He's sitting there just like, please love me. <laughs> and the, like, he know. wasn't serious. He wasn't taking it serious. No, he wasn't too serious because apparently mm. with these dogs, they're more like emotional support. Yeah. So they're just there to, to be a lover, you know? Yeah, hey, girl. So <laughs> he put his <laughs> nose right in my crotch, man. I'm like, hey, whoa. That's why Rex gets was, excited. But um, it was nice. It was a nice little That's puppy. Cool. So we got to pet a puppy, uh, learn about math and new stuff. We're sitting to there teach. playing with the dog. It's like, Give Give it, baby. feeding him. He's so sweet, man. You should have fed so him cute. something. Yeah. Do you guys eat, do you guys get like food um, um, there or do you guys they had some candy and stuff on the back table, but oh, I think boring. technically that was like a like you you can win a prize type no, thing. No, did you do you, they don't cater your guys' lunch? Sometimes they do. The training I had Monday and Tuesday they did. What'd they have? Uh the first day they had Costa Vida. Okay. Which I actually went home to eat, should have stayed. Uh because it made it really hard to go back in. Uh, You're the sleepy? second day they had a, a baked potato bar. That's no, I wasn't even sleepy. I just uh, you're home. It was, it was, you know, it's like you, you're home. You're sitting there all day listening. It's like this kind of like semi leadership. I'll just say it like that. It's like boring. it's like a leadership type conference, and so you're like sitting and listening because it's like for this group that we're in the school. You're kind of like guiding people for the da 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 stuff. Yeah, whatever. Nobody cares. But the point is, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of listening and like some activities. Today's was actually pretty entertaining, but like, you know, it's just like you go home and you're like, man, summer just started. I just kind of feel like being at home, uh, but, uh, got paid for it. So that was cool. That's how that, that's always I mean, looking at that positive. Always look at the bright side. I like getting paid, bro. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. I'm, I'm sitting it, here, man, making money. Make yeah. It rain. Like today I had to drive to Yakima yeah. for, we're trying to test some something. We're getting audited at my work. Yeah. And so it's like a huge audit because they like pretty much help fund the company okay. in, a, in a sense. Or make sure we're following by the rules Who's and regulations. Who's auditing? HRSA. It's called a HRSA. HRSA. Hospital. Don't ask. Rehabilitation. Sexual assistance. Sexual assistance. Yeah. Okay. They're, they they were they're there to make sure we're. It's like OSHA for hospitals. <laughs> yeah. HRSA. So they go through like all the like all the procedures and all that. And yeah. they'll actually see if people do him by the book, you know? Yeah. If they, they ask just random questions, are they stopping like, Hey, 
Uh, what do you think about this term? I want to say a few years back, because it's every three years. So I think of a few years back when we were still going in, I think they did ask us something. Yeah. But hopefully this year they don't look at like IS too deep or anything right. like that. But no, we have to make sure these meetings run right. And so it's like, you go over here. And then she's like, well, we're not actually doing them in here. Oh. We're going to do them over there. And so we were like, well, we, let's just go back. We'll get that tested. And okay. So you want to make sure all the tech's up and running. So I want to make it good well. before, you know, but I want to make it sure it's good in where they're doing it. You yeah. Know I mean? Right. And so we, we did that. And then, uh, <clears throat> but it was like, it was, it made the day nice and fast. Yeah. Just to travel, window time, troubleshooting stuff. I'm like, sure. Because I'm supposed to be in office all week. So it's like, yeah. My boss but, told me I got to do but this. But you being out on the road, man, you're like, you're in the office, you know? You're not just sitting at a desk. You're out <laughs> yeah. there in the field doing work. I'm doing it. Yeah, man. That's <gasps> good. But yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Sometimes I like going to these like trainings. You see people that you don't see on a normal day. You know, you, you interconnect with people from across the Do you ever see bit? people that um, you've might have emailed quite often or. Man, and today, then you see them in person. I'm going to tell oh you, my God. there's a good girl. And I still don't know her name, but there's a girl that did these videos. Like, so we have these things called Alphabet Friends. Okay. Oh, sounds like a. That sounds like a school thing. And you do like. And the apple, and the apple, ah, ah, ah. Oh and you do all God. these, like you do gestures. Do help, that again. Help the little, <laughs> help the little kids <laughs> memorize their sounds. Well, this gal did the video of them, and then I'm like sitting there, and I'm looking at this girl in there, and I'm like, she's got different hair now, but I'm like, I've watched these videos a thousand times because when I had to learn these damn things, like on the fly, yeah. I watched those videos every day before the kids came back in. So I could try to memorize these gestures, right? So I'm like looking at her and I look at my cousin, I'm like, is that the girl that did the video? She goes, yeah. It's kind of like seeing a celebrity. It was kind of like a celebrity. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, that's her. Oh my God. Oh my God. I talked to her for a second. I'm like, uh, you did, did you, those videos, didn't you? No, I didn't ask her, but it was kind of cool. Said, what's her name? I have no idea. I don't Jenny, know Jenny, was. Jenny. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, you're Andy <laughs> Apple, huh? Hey, she's like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, the video I did. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, no, it was uh, crazy, man. You're like, like, Andy Apple. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, then I would have gotten in trouble. But it was. HR's uh, that way. It was pretty, uh, it was cool. I mean, you just cool. like, it you know, cool. it's like, and then there was a gal there that uh, was like, I knew I recognized her. I ended up sitting next to her because there's no other open seats. It was one of those times when I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, I know her. I know her. And finally she goes, do you remember me? I was like, Ugh. I know I've seen you. She goes, yeah, I subbed at the school, like the school I used to work at a lot. And then I was like, boom. You know when it like hits you? Yeah. Kind of like my third grade teacher telling me. <laughs> yeah. Like you'd shake your whoa, head. Whoa, I felt like I heard Good this God, before. <laughs> man. Like the whole day, I was just like, whoa, whoa. Apparently I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> no. But. No, it was like, it was crazy. I just pictured man. like Bill and Ted. <laughs> but like I've gone to enough trainings like now that there's certain people that I'll run into and I'm like, hey, I know you from that training last summer. They're like, you going to this year? I'm like, no. Just that small talk. Crap. It kind of feels like you're preparing for a fight, you know. You know, you like, know what's funny is we were just talking at softball yesterday about how you run into people sometimes you don't recognize. Yeah, for sure. Man. And how it's a kind, kind, of, kind of awkward at first because yeah. you're like, well, I don't know you. Yeah. I think I've told my story about walking across my college campus and I did the, a class to become an RA. If you mm, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we call them CAs, community advisors, because that was just so much cooler than being a residential because we're not for the residents, man. Residents We're advisor. for the community in the building. Yeah, we were. Stupid. We had RAs at job. Well, everybody, every it was was an RA job. We yeah. just called it CA because we were cool. But um, so I took this class, and I was walking across campus, and this girl was like, "Hey," and waving. And I'm so used to like that scenario where you're like, "Oh hi," because they're looking right at you, and then they're looking at the person behind you. Mm -hmm. So I did not react in any way. I just kept walking, and then she was like, "Uh, rude." And like I stopped, and she was looking dead at me. I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I'm like going to class." <laughs> and she's like, "Did you get in? Did you get the job?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's where I know you." So I'm like, "Oh man, yeah, like you." 
Like, so stupid. I swear to God, I've never seen this girl before in my life, ever. Like, even talking to her, you know, usually your brain clicks like, oh, fuck, yeah. No, not even a little bit. I was like, don't have a clue. Yeah, my buddy. weird, man. um, The one, he's a teacher for the Pasco School District. Uh He was saying he was ran into someone, like, it was that awkward situation. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Who are you? Oh, that's who you are. Yeah. Yeah, And he was like, yeah, I'm married to this lady. Uh You work with her. And he was like, what? And it's another girl he went to school with. Oh, He's weird. been working. He goes, I have yeah, no he goes, idea. I've been working with this girl for like two years. Wow. And I see her. No idea that that we were even it's in so school crazy, together. Man. You know, like I know. Oops. No, and like it's gotten to the point now. It's been I've worked there long enough that there's like people I'll run into. Like for example, our uh, our library secretary. I knew her. Yeah. And in my head, she had been one of my paras in my classroom. <laughs> Couple, like years back when I taught special education. Mm-hmm. And so when I first was talking to her, I'm like, yeah, you were a pair in my room. And she's like, no, I was across the hall in kindergarten. I was like, oh, I know. You. I know. I was But kidding. it was so weird. Like my memory of her, like we were way more yeah. like on a daily engagement there. So, it's it's like, but, but I think it's because they were just across the hall. She's like, dude, I've only talked to you she's twice. Like, dude, you're a freak. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, she's super, super nice. Yeah. And so, like, it, it, then it's like. This is she, why I left the last school. See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the restraining order. Uh, but no, it was like, it was crazy. Because then she said that. I'm like, oh, no, that's right. Like, you didn't ever work in my room. It was, apparently, my memory is very. I can I got a. F- Fucked up, man. but fucked eh, up, man. whatever. But we, it's uh, we do got something special for you guys. Yeah, something I saw the other day, and I thought that's wild. Yeah. And, and and I'm probably late to the show. But if you like cheese as much as I do, <coughs> you'll understand this. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's see. Just push, let's see if you love it this much. Just push play on the thing. Kiwana. Where? Right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. There were thrills and spills in the UK during the annual Cooper's Hill Cheese Rolling Competition. The race sees competitors run down that, that extremely that steep right. hill while Did chasing a cheese People are trying to stop yes, him, it looks right. like. It's dangerous. Each event typically sees several participants injured. They're going down the a or dead. Look at that guy. Course, That's my hill going down my yard. Seven pounds or a Pretty little much. three kilograms. Apparently she I won. Mean, she won. Sitting. Damn, she's excited. She's from New York, uh, North Carolina. NC State, it said. Oh, really? Yeah. He <laughs> said in North Carolina. There were thrills Look at that, man. This guy sounds like if I were a... Uh, Cooper's Hill cheese rolling competition. This is a cheese rolling competition. A cheese, cheese rolling competition? Yeah, these pillow. guys are... Well, what do they call them? In, uh, yes, rugby, 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 rugby. Yeah, what do they call them? They're like... Uh, it's an Aaron Cotter. And the prize? Whoa, that horn. The Aaron Cocker. They have the same things. They said some word for them. That's good. Cool. I don't know, man. They're blockers of some kind. Dan, she looks sad, kind of. Well, yeah, she probably broke her fucking neck. <laughs> broke to get her cockies. Her, her cockles broken. <laughs> Look at her though, man. She's she's got dirt all over her face. Do you think people punch you trying to get that piece of cheese? Uh, you think, yeah, you it looks it? like grown men were trying. Well, to what kind of cheese them. it is? Looks it, good, man. Maybe a, a brie, maybe. Maybe Let's maybe see. a large brie. Let, let's a little look. party cheese, maybe. Let's look at that. Can we go back just a little bit here? Let's see. Yeah. Let's Is go. that signed? Yeah, it's, it's got some kind of hieroglyphics on it. Oh, look you know that. what it is? Huh? I bet you that's like the winner. Munster. It's Munster. Munster cheese. Munster. That's actually good. My dad introduced me to that it's cheese. It's good, man. For like a burger and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. We, uh, we like to eat cheese with grapes at my house. Damn, Caesar, yeah, drink, over here. Drink a little vino. Eat you, some grapes and you, cheese. You do the whole There's palm nuts at him. <laughs> Get some nuts out. Yummy. I I don't go chasing cheese down. Do you hills, roll the though. cheese in the grapes, or you just eat cheese then? A grape? Roll them in a grape. Yeah, I can roll it so it's a cheese and grape all one. Nope. I've yeah, done that. Like a little sandwich, <laughs> a little grape sandwich. Maybe I should. Maybe I should try that out. Maybe, Maybe it'd be pretty good. No, it's uh, it's cool though. You start to figure out what grapes taste good with what cheeses. You know, some things are more of a green grape. Some things are more of a red grape. And then you try certain things out. And you're like, oh, that didn't go very well. You, you guys are the last people that should be eating cheese though. 
Isn't Blanca like lactose? Yeah, but I'm not. So <laughs> you're like fuck that. No, but she likes. I mean, she we don't do well, it all the time. But I had a little good. cheese today. Me and Alicia, we went to a wine tasting thing, and uh, there was a uh, one of the wineries we went to. They had like cheese and, yeah. and grapes and stuff. They probably had like um, a uh, what do you call those boards? A charcuterie board. A charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yeah, that name is so uh, pompous. Isn't it a little I, pompous? I'm not gonna lie. I've only heard that word in the last, and I think I said this before, but I've only heard it in the last. Year, a couple years, right? Yeah, yeah. There wasn't a thing. It was just a fucking food platter. It's just a food platter. It was like an hors d'oeuvre platter. It's a now it's a plate. cheesery board. Somebody went to some fucking European country, and they <laughs> let me tell you something, brother. In this country, we drink American beer. Damn it, we don't like shark cheesery board. Shark board, but yeah, yeah man. All right. So you got like a question or something, man? <laughs> I do. <clears throat> it's um. <clears throat> It's from last week that never release. Okay. So we uh, might have discussed this already. Yeah. But I don't uh, remember what I said. I don't remember my answer. Yeah. It's basically how long, uh, how long would you wait for your wife or how long have you waited for your wife? Like when they go shopping and stuff. Yeah. That's right. Like, that's what sparked it. Okay. Before you're like. Yeah. Before you voice like, your oh my God. discontent with the waiting. Yeah. The waiting's different because it's, it's like. When you're hungry, yeah, right. You got limited time. No, when I'm hungry now, Blanca pretty well knows. Like she can tell, she can tell on me before I can tell. She's like, "You're getting hungry. Let's let's go." That's what Alicia take care of this. Alicia carries snacks in the car. For, yeah, man. For me, it's 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 rough. I mean, it's like a different anger when you're hungry. You know, just irritable. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's not like mean. It's just you know. How's this look? Eh, whatever. It's kind of like uh, like a mini Hulk. I don't smash things, but I'm just like. Rah, rah, rah. I'm really short, you know. That's yeah, how I am. right. And she can tell. She <laughs> just is like, man, you need to eat. <laughs> Here, have a Snickers. You need to eat. Yeah. yeah right. You just argue uh, back that you need to eat. No, yeah, you need to eat. God damn it! Don't tell me I need to eat. <laughs> Go uh, eat for a beer, yeah, brother. Yeah. God damn it! Reach for a beer, American beer, brother. Yeah, I like that. Bring America back together one beer at a time, man. I got to try some of that. <laughs> got to bring me back to my friends, man. It's probably some shitty ass. It's probably beer. like Budweiser or something, just like rebranded. But, it, you know. It's just hey. a, the, the seeping left Yeah, over. it's Bush Light. Just Ooh. recanned. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bush Light's probably really good. I don't know. It's not. Man, I, I could <laughs> never do it, man. I'm just like, I, I'll drink Bud Light. Well, no, it's better than Natural Ice. Bush. Natties. Natties, dude. Natties. Natties. Uh, yeah, I'll have like, I had some Rainier. Rainier is cool for the nostalgia, those of you that grew up in the Northwest. Dude, I Pacific used to drive Northwest. I used to drive by the Rainier Brewing Yeah, it's all the not time. there anymore. Mm. There's Sucks. a big red R. I used to, it's like, still there, when I, I think, right? When I, yeah. yeah. When I used to uh, work at that UPS that, yeah, um, off Airport Way yep. over there, Boeing Field. Shout out to my mama. She yeah, this she motherfucking look shallow. through the comments. If you're ever curious about any of our stories, she will go through in the notes and just hit us up with the deets. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. But but there, I remember seeing that. Um, yeah, man. I guess people would shoot it a lot. I can see that, man. Pacific Northwest shit. It's got guns. and No, and I remember flannels. driving by as a kid. We'd go visit my aunt that lived in the Tacoma area, and uh, we'd see that on the side of the freeway. That's cool. It was a neat memory. And just that big old R. You're like, someday I'm going to drink that beer. <laughs> someday I'm going to be an uh, alcoholic, yeah. just like you. My dad's like, you're just like me, boy. <laughs> just like me. Um, and then uh, what else? Oh, I like uh, PBR, Paps Blue Ridden, Proud Union Beer. I, I got that because it's like such an old beer. Yeah, man. Well, I remember I'd get it. And that, the first time I had it, I was just like, felt old. Yeah, man. Old. It's like, like I should be in the West. That's what we're going to take out with us in the boat. When we're yeah, old, yeah, man. yeah. You know what I mean? Paps. That's like, what I'll break. I'll break my sobriety that day. Uh, I used to love <laughs> my first beer since 1984. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to love. It was a um, man. Damn, it was a man. Yeah, I, I used to love a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what was it called? Uh, it was in a glass bottle, and it was uh, half wine. Weinhards. Henry oh. Weinhards. Oh, yeah, Henry Weinhards. Henry yeah. Weinhards, man. They don't really sell it anymore. My grandpa used to drink that. Maybe, I don't know if he really drank it or if I just have a memory of one time him drinking one. Just keep that memory. But, man, that was like the first beer I bought when I turned 21. 
I think. Nice. It was a good, good memory. And I used to really love their IPA, and then they stopped making it. And <laughs> now I can't even find a uh, Henry Weinhardt's, man. This is a regular old. I don't know what the first beer. Yeah. I don't know if the first purchase, my 21st. I don't honestly know my first purchase. I didn't drink up until, like, I would say I was probably tw- a little after I turned 21, maybe yeah. a little later. Yeah, are you saying that? I didn't drink a lot because mm-hmm. mainly it was hard to find places. Yeah, I didn't. You know, I didn't but, dip, but then when I dipped, I dipped. Yeah, yeah. I mean, college I is kind of about. The, yeah, I didn't dip my toe in, man. I dunked it all over. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good time though. A guy got kicked out of the bar trying to get me a drink. That was cool. <laughs> he awesome. uh, he was really drunk, and it was my twenty-one run. And he's like, "You want a drink?" I'm like. Yes, I do. And he's like, barkeep. And the bartender like was not paying any attention to him. He's like, oh, just the second he stepped behind that bar, man. You don't do that. But the second he stepped back there, he's like, get the fuck out. He got totally kicked out. I'm That's like, cool. I felt a little bad, but I'm like, I didn't tell you to do that. Yeah, you can't feel bad. You didn't do nothing. Leave me alone. I said, you I had a duck a- fart that night. You ever had a duck fart? They're so good. Those are yummy. Such a headache. Yeah. You know, I didn't get headaches when I first started drinking, but eventually got them very badly. So it was weird, man. Yeah. Like my first several times drinking heavily, woke up feeling right as rain. It's when you get old, man, you start drinking. Yeah, man. Then you do it a little too often, then your body's just like, me. I got to say, I don't miss that. I know. I have like that headache. It's nice to like, I like (laughs) having caught it a little bit. You know, but yeah, you get to that trashy point where you're canceling podcasts and, <laughs> you know, when you have a problem, no. that's when it's not. That's when, when you miss not. Christmas, talk to me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Man. Um, yeah. But yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll guys, talk. you know. We'll get this released out soon. Or later. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry that we uh, fucked up on Saturday. You could have had a nice Father's Day podcast to all of our uh, solid core listeners are our, our uh, what do they call it uh, our our, uh, our bumblebees patreons our patreon supporters out there that listen every week yeah sorry patreon. man just we've been in there is no patreon by the way i don't think we answered that question at all what question so you tell us how long you've waited for your wife before saying like babe come on let's go in l- months yeah so you guys, uh, you know, hit us up in that yeah. comment. Hit us up. Strip. <laughs> All right. Call the hotline. <laughs> Call the hotline. <laughs> we don't have one. But my phone number is. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> That'd be. No one will asking call. for trouble from the three people that. <laughs> There's lots. It's of just my listen. mom. We have lots my of dad. followers. Your mom probably would call. She probably would call. All right, man can't be doing that thank you to your mom for listening yeah. and your dad thanks. and sometimes my parents thanks parents and sometimes my parents that were never actually my parents together crazy yeah, crazy wild man yeah but they had sex and had me look that's man. crazy that's man. that's all you could ask for I what more can my you daddy's ask nuts that's funny yeah right <laughs> so funny well who was it that made that joke <laughs> i don't even remember that if you look at a girl and you think she's hot you really are attracted to her dad because <laughs> she came from his balls <laughs> it's like well that's one way to look at it it's not wrong they must have been pretty balls man <laughs> Yeah. So that's your... <laughs> All right. To all you recently married men, you really like her dad. Just remember that. Just Have remember a that. great weekend. Picture that. All my friends on summer break, chill out, man. Sheesh. Hang in there. Those of you that <clears throat> hate where you're at in life. And um, Right. What else? Yeah. That's it, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. Bye-bye. You guys stay good. <laughs>